welcome back. So, the race for the White House, 2016, the Republicans and the Democrats just had their conventions and officially declared their nomination. Well, they but first of all, who who are we looking at? For all right, so in terms of the accepting of their party, we have Donald Trump representing the Republicans, mm -hmm. and we have Hillary Clinton representing the Democrats. Um, the Republican um, National Convention was held in Cleveland, and then the Democratic uh, National Convention in Philadelphia. Now, you want to talk about a comparison of apples to oranges and what we watched. Um, I just couldn't get over the Republican National Convention and what I saw. I don't know if you guys had a chance to take a look at it as well. I watched the first couple of days, and it was chaos. It was <laughs> People screaming, or people yelling, or delegates leaving, <laughs> coming back, come, leaving again. Well, let's talk about the drama that has been happening. I mean, we've talked about speeches. Let's, let's talk about, okay, so we know the plagiarized speech by, I, I don't even know her name. I know it's Mrs. Trump is all I know. I don't know. Melania. Melania. Melania Trump, who's not even an American, you know, go figure that. Uh, you have <laughs> the, the, the rumors that it's just, the Republican convention was just strictly, they all had one candidate in mind, and that was to attack Hillary Clinton. Um, were there any other major dramas that had happened that kind of sticks out so that we can inform the community of what what's going on for the the people who didn't watch or stay informed? You know, for me, I think it even does, doesn't even necessarily include Donald Trump, but it's more on how things went down with Bernie Sanders and with Hillary Clinton. For me, that was big drama because there was evidence. I mean, it was, I guess unsubstantiated but at the same time that it was rigged against Bernie Sanders there was no way he was ever gonna win because she had control of too many things on the back end so for me that's drama what I want to say is the fact that the Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton you bring up an awesome point is that you have people that feel the burn is what the, the quote is that are very passionate about Bernie Sanders and for him to get up there through, through it all through it all even having people chant Bernie Bernie and for him still to endorse Hillary says a lot. Because if you, if you look to the Republican convention, there was a candidate, uh, I, the name is, is it Paul Ryan? No, it wasn't Paul Ryan. Marco it was Rubio. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. It was Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz did not endorse Trump. And then, and then you got to look at him and admire him too because they ask, why didn't you endorse Trump? And people were dogging him and all this and that. He says, because I don't endorse someone that talks about my my wife or my father or my family. Mm -hmm. He stuck up against his own party, stuck by his morals, and I gotta respect that. My favorite moment was when his brother went up to the microphone to nominate him for the presidential candidacy, because he's been very stone-faced, very stoic through the whole ordeal. He got up there and you, they panned right to Bernie and he was emotionally, you know, like in tears. So I, that was my like, oh my God moment. I was like, I will, Forever watch that on YouTube every time oh, I can Hanna find it. Family. But again, we're nearing the point that Bernie, uh, that Bernie, that Benny made is simple the fact that Hillary or Trump can get in. It's who's in that Senate and who's in the House that really Correct. has the power. So that's why those elections are just as important. And the majority right now is who? Republican. 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 Amber, what say you? Vote Amber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do every of year. Of course. <laughs> vote Amber. I vote Amber. Oh, Amber. I vote Ambular every year for fabulous queen of the St. Regis Mohawk tribe, and they never read it on the radio. Read.